The NZMET trial was presented here at ASCO 2019 as part of the plenary session. The idea behind NZMET was a very simple one. A drug called enzalutamide is often used much later in the course of prostate cancer once hormonal therapies have stopped working. The, our hypothesis was that by bringing uh, enzymet treatment much earlier in the treatment course, we might see improvements in overall survival. So the trial was a phase three randomised uh, trial led by ANZAP Cancer Trials Group, but also involving multiple other groups around the world, uh, particularly through Cancer Trials Ireland, Canadian Cancer Trials Group and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in America. And the study involved men with metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer who were commencing treatment with testosterone suppression. One group got enzalutamide and the other group got a standard anti-androgen as part of standard of care. And we found that treatment with enzalutamide reduced the risk of death by about 33% across the board. So that's consistent with what was seen with other clinical trials, including the Titan trial of apalutamide that was presented a few days ago. We also, also saw about a 60% reduction in the chance of progression of the cancer, whether measured by blood test or by clinical signs or by imaging. So it's very clear that enzalutamide has a benefit in that setting in addition to ordinary testosterone suppression. One of the, the other things that distinguished Enzymet from the other clinical trials was about 45 to 50 percent of trials in, uh, of patients in Enzymet were also treated with concurrent docetaxel chemotherapy. Docetaxel was shown a few years ago also to be a benefit when added to testosterone suppression and so that rapidly became part of the standard of care. So we modified our protocol to allow that treatment. The clinical trial was not designed to answer the question whether addition of enzalutamide to docetaxel would be a benefit but a substantial number of patients received it. And what we found there was that if a man has been treated with testosterone suppression and docetaxel then addition of enzalutamide to that combination did not give us any further improvement in overall survival and was associated with additional toxicity. There were some benefits in terms of what we call progression-free survival, so how long it takes for the cancer to start growing again. So we don't know yet whether that's eventually going to translate into an overall survival benefit, but right now we cannot recommend the triplet combination of testosterone suppression, docetaxel and enzalutamide. So that means now around the world there are several drugs, all of which have shown benefit in this setting on top of testosterone suppression. We've got docetaxel, which has been out there for about five years now, abiraterone, which was reported at this meeting two years ago, apalutamide, we heard a few days ago for the Titan trial, and now enzalutamide through the Enzymet trial run by ANZUP. So what does that mean now for doctors and men who are contemplating what treatment they should get? I think... Uh, one thing that we've heard is that there seems to be a feeling, a fear of missing out perhaps in, in many men in this sort of situation. And we would like to reassure men that there is no missing out. There's no one right answer here. And a treatment that is right for one person may not be right for another. So it's going to come down to a conversation between the doctor and the patient about what is best for this person. If they have certain other conditions that mean one of those drugs might not be the ideal choice, they might be able to access another one. Chemotherapy is still an option, and that's uh, 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 particularly the case for regions of the world where the other drugs are not yet available. It's also a short, sharp and cheap option, so patients might prefer to get that out of the way, although no one wakes up in the morning wanting to have chemotherapy. So the underlying message here now is that uh, when, once these agents are all available, there are going to be several options available for men in this situation of hormone-sensitive prostate cancer, in addition to testosterone suppression and it's a conversation that men will have to have with their doctors. I have the privilege of being chair of ANZUP Cancer Trials Group. ANZUP stands for the Australian and New Zealand Urogenital and Prostate Cancer Trials Group. We are a cooperative cancer clinical trials group based in Australia and New Zealand with over 1500 members representing all the clinical disciplines involved in the care of patients with genderurinary cancers and research into these cancers. Our job is to perform clinical trials to generate new evidence so that we can improve outcomes for men affected by genitourinary cancers. ANZUP performs clinical trials locally but also has been leading clinical trials around the world. Most recently the ENZIMET trial presented at the plenary session here at ASCO 2019 in conjunction with our partners Cancer Trials Ireland, the Canadian Cancer Trials Group and Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. ANZUP is also leading several other clinical trials which are at various stages of maturity and we hope to see those reading out very soon. We're also looking forward to future partnerships with those 
uh, collaborative groups and others who are joining this global network to improve outcomes for people affected by genital urinary cancers.